Hello, my name is Sister Saavedra. I'm a technical marketing manager at GitLab. In this segment of the presentation, I'm going to be covering a new capability called a Fire Webhook on Feature Flag Change. This feature was introduced in 13.6, and, uh, and it consists of basically uh, generate an event when there is a feature flag activation or deactivation. This, uh, this event, uh, in, in turn, it invokes uh, a newly, uh, this newly introduced webhook. And the webhook receiver can then take some action as a result of this invocation. Why does it matter uh, for customer and prospects uh, as a developer or as someone that uh, wants to monitor uh, the enabling, enabling and disable, disabling of a feature flag, uh, you can use this uh, new feature, the, this new webhook. Uh, you know, as uh, when using this feature, you can uh, take some action as a result of uh, the invocation of, of this webhook. Uh, you could, for example, kick off a CI CD pipeline. You can send a message to Slack or to any other chat ops um, uh, platform. You can send an email or text. You can also update and process, um, you know, some uh, application performance monitoring solution that you may have. And um, and you can also do business activity monitoring updates uh, and processing as well. Uh, this capability uh, uh, streamlines the pro uh, processes that need to take um, a feature flag being updated, uh, enabled or disabled in this case into account. Here are some resources uh, to learn more about this feature. There's a link to the documentation of the issue. Uh, some things to follow, uh, a couple of links there about testing webhooks and troubleshoot webhooks uh, from uh, uh, the GitLab platform. There's also a sample for a webhook, webhook receiver that you can install on your laptop and a link to a cloud-based uh, webhook receiver that requires no installation, which is uh, what I used. For this, ex uh, for this example on how to show you uh, how it works. So step one, uh, you can set up your webhook and I'm using uh, the site called webhook.site for this. And you set up a web webhook there, you get the URL then you go to GitLab uh, uh, settings webhooks window, and you basically paste that URL uh, in that step three. And also in the in, in that screen, you need to scroll down and make sure you select feature flags events. You can select that checkbox. And then you click on add a webhook. And that will add the webhook so that when a feature flag is enabled or disabled, that webhook is uh, invoked. And the step four, uh, to test it out, uh, if you already have an existing feature flag in this case, you can enable it and disable it, and then you will see the webhook uh, being called as a result of that event. That's all I have. Thank you very much.